My name is Sam van Tilburg. I work for Learner Studios in Guildford. I've been working there for seven years, Fable 1, Fable 2, Black and White, the movies, and now Fable 3. The great and powerful king of Albion is dead. To one son, he leaves the crown. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. So Fable 3, there's two parts to it. It's, I mean, we, we got bored with telling the same story over and over again. So now in Fable 3, you start as a prince or princess, son or daughter of your Fable 2 character, your older brother Logan. He's the king of Albion. He's a right bastard, so... You decide to lead a revolution against the king. You overthrow the king at a certain stage. You lead a successful revolution, we're saying that now, and you will become king. But that is only the halfway point. The second part of the game is all about being king. And it's all about seeing through the promises that you made to lead the revolution. The question is, are you going to be able to fulfill all the promises that you made on your way to becoming king? Just like in today's world, today's leaders and politicians who are running for election is they'll make grand and great promises, but how often do they actually see it through and, and, uh, and deliver on those promises? So Fable 3, there's two sides to it. There's being a revolutionary, starting the revolution, and then finishing it and being king and ruling Albion as a, as a good or bad king. I'd love to tell you about the second part of the game, but I'm not. And the reason for that is, is well, I'll give you an abstract and I'll try and, and, and be more poetic about it, which is, I don't want to talk about specifics, because as soon as I start talking about specifics, it's all about the promises that you're making as a revolutionary and the emotion and the action and the drama that you get out of that. And the delivery lies in the promises that you made in your game, in your world, as your character. So I can't talk to that, because as soon as I do that, I spoil the game for you. So what I can say is, is that the promises that you make, some will be small, some will be big, um, and it's down to you. to to decide whether or not you're going to see through um, those, those promises. But it's too much of a spoiler to me to go into specifics. It's, the abstract is the delivery lies in the promises that you're making. Um, and without spoiling the story and, and everything for you, I'd rather have you experience it when you get the game. So, for the players, Aurora is a new continent. Aurora is um, Fable 1, 2, we always said in Albion. and we. We wanted to do something fresh and new, so there's a new land called Aurora. Aurora is very sandy, there's a lot of desert there, there's a lot of new creatures that you've never seen in a Fable game before, or possibly that you have seen in a Fable game before. We leave it on that. <laughs> it's coming out 29th of October on Xbox 360 in Europe, um, and then shortly after it'll be coming out on PC Windows version as well. But, we're just finishing the Xbox version, then we're going to go on a well-deserved holy break, all of us, for a short time, um, and then we crack on with the PC version. 29th of October, remember that.